Hello Internet Family, Dan here from DanceTube.tv and today I'm discussing whether you should upgrade to the Mavic 2 Pro. Now this really depends on what drone you currently have and if you don't have a drone then should you purchase the Mavic 2 Pro. The focus of this video will be comparing the Mavic Pro to the Mavic 2 Pro to discuss whether this is a worthwhile upgrade but if you have the Spark or the Mavic Air or even the Phantom then I will also discuss the possible opportunity to upgrade here and whether it is worth your time. I will have two links in the description below to check out the Mavic Pro and the Mavic 2 Pro. The Mavic Pro is currently $1,249 on Amazon, that is US dollars, and this is for the Fly More bundle with the three batteries. And then the Mavic 2 Pro is $2,017, and again that's for the Fly More kit, which I do highly recommend those extra batteries and the bag. So you're looking at about $800 worth of difference. Now one of the biggest differences between the Mavic Pro and the Mavic 2 Pro is the camera. Now on paper they both shoot 4K at 30 frames per second, but the Mavic 2 Pro has a 1 inch sensor with adjustable aperture, and it also offers a whopping 10 bit D-Log-M video which is honestly remarkable on a drone, and that's something that the professionals out there will love playing around with. So the camera has drastically been upgraded, even though on paper it looks very similar to the original one. Also discussing the camera, the original Mavic Pro had a very weak system for the gimbal. It wasn't the most reliable and it did seem to get knocked around very easily, when the Mavic 2 Pro has a lot more of an enclosed and secure gimbal system now, which is honestly something that I really wanted to see. The Mavic 2 Pro also offers the hyperlapse mode, which is not available on the Mavic Pro. In terms of the design of these two drones, they are very similar, they are remarkably similar, and it's amazing to see what they've done with the Mavic 2 Pro to put all of that amazing technology in a drone that's basically the same size as the Mavic Pro. The Mavic 2 Pro is slightly bigger and it also has the omnidirectional sensing which the Mavic Pro does not have. So the Mavic 2 Pro would be more reliable when it is tracking a subject and it has a lot more awareness of its surroundings. So what happens if you have a Phantom, a Mavic Air or even a Spark or maybe even an Autel Evo or a Parrot Anafi or even something completely different out there? Now, the Mavic 2 Pro is amazing, and I really do love it, but it's quite an expensive drone, and yes, the image quality is amazing, and it's great to have 10-bit on an actual drone, but for most people out there, I think it might be overkill, to be honest with you. In my opinion, I think if you have the Phantom 4, for example, I think the Mavic 2 Pro would be a really great addition to your line. It's a lot more portable and you still get that amazing video quality from such a small drone. If you have a Mavic Air, for example, then I don't think you should necessarily upgrade to this. Um, I think the Mavic Air will definitely be sufficient for now. And if you have the Spark or something that a little lower end like that, then you're probably not looking into something this expensive and you probably don't need it to be honest. So my personal opinion is the Mavic Air could be the one for most people. Um, if you do want to take it a little bit more professionally or a bit more seriously, then the Mavic 2 Pro could be a great option. Moving back to the Mavic Pro versus the Mavic 2 Pro, a few other differences that are definitely something that you should keep in mind would be the flight time and the transmission. So the original Mavic Pro has a flight time of 27 minutes, which you will not get as much as 27 minutes, that's just unrealistic. You'll probably get about 24, 25 minutes maybe. And the Mavic 2 Pro says you will get about 31 minutes, so you may get 28, 27 minutes with that. So it is a slight bump when it comes to the Mavic 2 Pro. The Mavic 2 Pro also offers an 8km range with a 1080p video transmission, which is remarkable and something that I was really excited to see and I've been impressed with so far, where the original Mavic Pro can go up to 7km and it displays a 720p video transmission. So is it worth upgrading to the Mavic 2 Pro from the original Mavic Pro? I 
don't know whether it's worth $800 to be honest with you. Yeah, there are some amazing quality of life changes. I love the camera, I love the gimbal system, I love the design, the omnidirectional sensing, the 1080p video feed, and all of these other amazing little things that they've added, but it's an $800 additional purchase over the Mavic Pro that can already shoot 4K 30 frames per second. So unless there are features that are really enticing you to buy the Mavic 2 Pro, then I think maybe you should just hold off and see what DJI do next. The original Mavic Pro is still a fantastic drone, and if you don't own a drone already, then the Mavic Air could be the perfect drone for you. I think the Mavic Air has struck a perfect balance between quality and portability, so that's definitely my recommendation in terms of a brand new drone. But maybe just hold off, see what DJI are going to do next. If you're happy with what you've got, if you're tossing up between upgrading or not upgrading, then just wait. Wait until you're 100% set and then make your decision. Anyway, I really hope this video was enjoyable and I hope it was helpful. I did recently start a drone inspired clothing line because I love drones so much and I noticed that there is not any sort of cool clothing out there. So I actually do have a clothing line called eyeintheskyclothing.com. I will actually have a link in the description below to check it out. But anyway, internet family, that is the end of this little video here. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave me a comment below. It really does brighten up my day. I will reply to all of the comments, so show me some love down there. Anyway, peace out y'all, love ya. Bye.